Research by BSI has found that the public feel CAVs or self-driving vehicles offer multiple benefits, from improved safety to greater levels of inclusion and productivity. I think there are a few benefits that can be gained from bringing autonomy into Cambridgeshire for our residents, but the main one for us really is an ability to bring it into our public transport system so that we can provide efficient, safe and convenient services to move people around more sustainably. CAVs offer many potential benefits, but they come with risks too. As this technology is developing, standards are a way to shape good practice to ensure that trialling and testing of automated vehicles is as safe as it can be. BSI's standards help us to provide a framework that we can make sure that people understand what we're talking about at a similar level. But standards really help to set, almost they're more agile, you can deploy them quicker. The benefit of using the standards is that you have a consistent approach. People understand what the standards say, what the requirements are. During the implementation we have made significant improvements to our process and procedures uh, following the uh, CAF standards and in our constant uh, review of process we take all those requirements into consideration. I think the standards really help with interoperability, so people being able to move from one test environment um, to another, one location to another. You've got the standards, you understand what good practice looks like, so whether you're a local authority, a road authority, a test bed, you're able to say, well, that, that reflects good practice. Pass 1881 has been the reference standard for the structure of our safety case. PAS 1883, Operational Design Domain Standard, is really helpful for us in terms of categorising the environments we're operating within, specifically in autonomous mode. PAS 1882 is important because data collection is a very important aspect in trialling of autonomous vehicles. And in particular, in the event that it does something that we didn't expect or there's an incident, it's really vital that we can go back and understand why and exactly what happened. PAS 1884 is starting to be really useful for us. It's a, a good set of best practice for safety operators. The standards that have been developed through the BSI CAV PAS program have enabled Oxfordshire County Council to work with TRL in developing a trialling organisation questionnaire. As a CAV developer, the past standards are really helpful for us in making sure we can level the playing field with larger organisations and OEMs for example. As the past standards have been developed by a wide group of stakeholders to really detail what the best practice is across industry. 